Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. For decades, Mel's Hole lingered as little more than a ghost story cloaked in late night radio static. A bizarre claim by a man named Mel Waters about a seemingly bottomless pit nestled in the misshrouded Manistash Ridge of Ellensburg, Washington. Skeptics and scientists alike dismissed it as myth spun into legend by the curious power of rumor. But everything changed when an interdisciplinary team, blending geology, astrophysics, and classified research, finally located what might be the very anomaly Mel described, a vertical shaft that defies everything science thought it understood about the Earth's crust and the very nature of space-time. Detected first as a black void that swallowed radar pulses without reflection, the shaft's discovery unleashed a cascade of questions and unsettling phenomena. Ground-penetrating radar, seismic imaging, and even advanced military-grade probes failed to yield reliable measurements. Signals vanished or bent inexplicably, as if space itself folded around the pit. When scientists deployed drones engineered for crushing deep-sea pressure, they received a fleeting seven minutes of fragmented data before the craft abruptly failed, broadcasting back only whispers of gravitational spikes, time distortions, and magnetic fields so chaotic they defied current models. Even more disturbing were observations made at the site. Atomic clocks placed around the rim diverge from control clocks a mere few hundred meters away, with time itself appearing to slow or warp near the shaft's edge. GPS devices flickered and twisted, spitting out coordinates that spiraled into impossible geometries, and atmospheric sensors recorded abrupt plunges in temperature, accompanied by momentary frost that vanished as quickly as it formed. Phenomena wholly disconnected from local. Weather patterns. Animals reacted with instinctual terror, refusing to approach within a certain radius, and infrasound monitors detected a persistent, low-frequency hum, imperceptible to human ears yet capable of provoking headaches, dizziness, and as several field researchers reported in shaken voices, unsettling hallucinations of shadows moving deep within the void. The shaft itself, smooth and perfectly circular, was lined with material that defied classification. Mineral samples showed isotopic signatures unseen on Earth, hinting either at unimaginable antiquity or origins entirely off-world. Nearby cliffs bore petroglyphs, nearly erased by time depicting concentric circles eerily similar to patterns seen in the sonar scans, lending chilling weight to local indigenous legends of a spirit well feared and avoided for countless generations. These tales, once dismissed as folklore, now seem prophetic glimpses into a truth that transcended human history. But the enigma only deepened. Gravitational lensing instruments typically used to map the curvature of space-time around distant galaxies, detected subtle but undeniable micro-deflections near the shaft, suggesting this was not merely a pit but potentially a spatial conduit or distortion, something that bent the very fabric of reality. Scientists, once cautious, began whispering of wormholes and dimensional rifts, concepts that had previously belonged only in theoretical physics and science fiction. The implications if confirmed, could revolutionize our understanding of gravity, time, and the cosmos itself. Meanwhile, deeper core samples extracted from the shaft's rim contained trace elements and crystalline structures with properties never observed in terrestrial geology, sparking heated debates over whether the whole might be artificial, a remnant of an ancient advanced civilization, or perhaps evidence of non-human, even extraterrestrial engineering. Specialists in ancient history and pre-human archaeology scoured the surroundings, uncovering patterns of erosion and construction inconsistent with natural processes, while quantum physicists grappled with field readings that hinted at localized violations of known physical laws. Time anomalies continued to spread outward from the shaft, creating subtle distortions that caused compasses to spin, electronic devices to glitch, and even the human mind to falter as if consciousness itself brushed against something alien. In one chilling incident, a small remote probe lowered into the hole transmitted brief, indecipherable electromagnetic pulses before its systems fried completely, leaving behind data fragments so baffling that some researchers privately speculated there might be signals, intentional or otherwise, from deep within the abyss. The site, 
now cordoned off under layers of secrecy and scientific scrutiny, has become a nexus where geology, astrophysics, quantum mechanics, and human curiosity collide, raising more questions than answers with every test conducted. What lies at the bottom of Mel's hole remains unknown. Yet the evidence gathered so far points to something that shatters the boundaries between legend and reality, a shaft that should not exist, displaying properties no natural geological formation could produce, and stirring uncomfortable possibilities about Earth's past and the cosmos's hidden architecture. It is as if the universe itself has granted a glimpse of a deeper, stranger truth, one that humbles science and reignites the primal human or that first gaze into the darkness and wondered what might lie beyond. And in the depths of Mel's hole, that question now feels more urgent and more unsettling than ever before. For decades, Mel's hole endured as a spectral rumor whispered through late-night radio static, a surreal claim by Mel Waters about a bottomless pit hidden in the fog-draped wilderness of Manistash Ridge near Ellensburg, Washington. Skeptics dismissed it as folklore that thrived in darkness. But everything changed when a determined coalition of geologists, astrophysicists, quantum theorists, and classified research teams converged to seek the truth and discovered an anomaly that defied every principle known to science. A vertical shaft first detected as a black void that absorbed radar pulses without echo. A feature so outlandish it sparked an avalanche of deeper investigation and stranger findings. Ground-penetrating radar, seismic imaging, and military-grade probes sent into the shaft failed to return meaningful data, with signals bending or vanishing altogether, as if the very geometry of space folded in on itself. A specialized deep-sea drone lasted only seven minutes before its feed dissolved into static, but not before transmitting erratic data suggesting gravitational surges, fluctuating magnetic fields, and time behaving unpredictably within the shaft shadow. Atomic clocks positioned around the rim began to drift from those stationed only a short distance away, revealing a subtle warping of time itself, while GPS devices malfunctioned, twisting coordinates into tangled spirals that made no geographic sense. Atmospheric sensors recorded sudden plunges in temperature, spawning frost on metal and stone even at the height of summer only for the ice to melt moments later, leaving no trace of what had occurred. Animals, driven by instincts beyond human understanding, refused to approach the site, and infrasound detectors picked up a low, tremulous hum, inaudible to human ears yet potent enough to trigger migraines, disorientation, and, in some researches, deeply unsettling hallucinations of movement within the endless dark. The shaft itself, impossibly smooth and perfectly circular, appeared lined with a material unrecognizable to geologists. Mineral samples retrieved from its rim bore isotopic compositions alien to terrestrial rocks, sparking theories that ranged from ancient unknown materials to origins beyond Earth. Nearby, weathered petroglyphs etched into ancient cliffs, circles radiating concentric waves, echoed the sonar images scientists captured, lending newfound gravity to local legends of a spirit well, a place shunned and feared across generations. What had once seemed harmless folklore now shimmered with disturbing relevance as science struggled to catch up with myth. Gravitational lensing instruments, typically reserved for observing massive celestial bodies bending light, recorded minute but measurable distortions near the shaft, hinting that this was more than just a pit. It might be a conduit through space-time itself a place where the universe's fabric twisted and thinned in ways previously their eyes but never observed on Earth. In hushed meetings, scientists dared to speak words like wormhole and dimensional rift, recognizing that if these readings held true, they would shake the foundations of physics, astronomy, and human understanding itself. Deeper core samples unearth crystalline structures unknown in terrestrial geology setting off debates over whether the whole might have been engineered by an ancient civilization or something else entirely. Specialists in pre-human archaeology uncovered erosion patterns and formations suggesting unnatural modification, while quantum physicists confronted localized anomalies that violated accepted physical laws. Strange electromagnetic pulses were briefly transmitted by a probe lowered into the abyss before its systems abruptly failed, 
leading some to speculate whether these pulses were data artifacts or deliberate signals from something hidden far below. As the site was placed under strict security, it evolved into a crossroads of curiosity and caution, where disciplines collided and every answer spawned new mysteries. Instruments glitched unpredictably, compasses spun near the rim, and field researchers reported vivid, often disturbing dreams after prolonged exposure to the site's unseen forces. The shaft remained impenetrable, its depths swallowing technology and certainty alike, while the area around it bent space, warped time, and suggested that the pit was more than geological oddity, it was a rupture in the known order of reality itself. Petroglyphs once dismissed as relics of superstition now appeared prophetic. Minerals defying earthly classification hinted at a history or presence beyond human memory, and every failed probe into the darkness whispered of forces or intelligences unknown. The implications reached beyond science into existential dread, compelling even the most rational minds to contemplate what lay at the bottom. Ancient machinery, a gateway to parallel worlds, or perhaps something so foreign the human mind could barely shape it into thought. What lies within Mel's hole remains unseen, but what is already known shatters boundaries once thought unbreakable. Between myth and science, past and present, even between the earth we know and realms yet unnamed. It is as if, in a forgotten fold of rugged Washington terrain, the universe itself cracked open to reveal a deeper, stranger truth, reminding us that some mysteries are darker and far more profound than anything we had dared imagine. And in that shadowed descent into the impossible, humanity stands once more at the precipice, gazing into the abyss and realizing the abyss may not just gaze back, but may in fact be waiting. The conversation inevitably turned toward intelligence, not necessarily biological, but conscious in some inscrutable form, an awareness whose nature, whether dormant, observing, or deliberate, remains maddeningly uncertain. Yet across every investigative channel, gravitational readings, biological responses, electromagnetic interference, temporal anomalies, acoustic patterns, and quantum experiments, all evidence seemed to converge on the same bewildering truth. Mel's hole is not merely a void in the ground, but something akin to a singularity, a node where the universe's fabric thins and the boundaries of our reality grow strangely porous. What lies beyond that darkness defies comprehension, whether it be a portal, an ancient machine, the fossil of a civilization lost to time, or something more alien still. What once existed as a whispered legend broadcast across late-night radio now stands as a stubborn scientific frontier, one that resists every attempt at containment, refuses to be neatly defined, and grows ever wider in implication. As the world peers anxiously into this abyss, the haunting question is no longer just what it is, but why it is here, and most unsettling of all, whether it is, in some unfathomable way, waking up. Even as layers of legend peeled away, each new discovery only deepened the enigma. What had begun as a lonely caller's claim had grown into a multidisciplinary effort of geophysicists, quantum theorists, cryptographers, and philosophers united not by answers but by a growing sense that the whole touches the very limits of human understanding. Quantum physicists brought on sight reported the most bizarre results. Particles in proximity to the whole behaved unpredictably, defying the double-slit experiment's established interference patterns as if the particles anticipated the observer's intent itself, something impossible by every known interpretation of quantum mechanics. Entanglement events appeared to occur or dissolve on command subtly directed by fluctuating environmental conditions unique to the site, hinting that Mel's hole might not merely warp gravity or matter, but interact with the very information field some fringe physicists believe underpins the universe's code. Meanwhile, electromagnetic sensors captured faint, repeating bursts of structured data buried deep within subspace frequencies, inaudible to any standard receiver yet strangely patterned, modulations and symmetrical pulses suggesting something akin to a language or evolving code. Cryptographers and linguistic analysts treated these bursts as ciphers. While no translation emerged, analysis uncovered recursive patterns echoing biological systems like DNA, 
hinting the transmissions might be instructions for fields or particles rather than conscious beings. Some theorists propose the chilling possibility. The whole might be not unique, but merely the first of several hidden nodes designed to awaken when cosmic or planetary conditions align. Supporting this, the site's strange influence radiated outward, dozens of miles beyond the rim. Animals behaved erratically, radios caught warped human-like murmurs, devices powered down unprompted, migratory birds diverted flight paths, and even clocks in nearby towns registered small but measurable time slips. The influence extended beyond electronics and animals. Those working closest to the whole began changing in subtle but undeniable ways. Longtime colleagues clashed over ideas they once agreed upon. Rational empiricists developed a fascination with metaphysics, while former mystics hardened into strict materialists, as though the whole inverted convictions like flipping a magnet. MRI scans detected shifting activity in brain regions tied to intuition and memory integration. Many researchers reported unsettling deja vu, not vague familiarity, but precise premonitions of events yet to unfold, from conversations to sudden weather shifts. To test this, teams designed closed-loop experiments asking participants to predict randomized outcomes, dice rolls, card draws, before the events occurred. Results consistently surpassed statistical charts suggesting the environment itself enabled fragments of future information to seep backward into the present. The implications were profound, raising an even darker hypothesis. What if the whole, or the intelligence entwined with it, was subtly guiding discovery itself, selectively releasing information to shape understanding, as though writing its own narrative through human curiosity? Attempts to resist these intuitive nudges, flipping decisions at random, Ignoring seemingly obvious protocols, often met uncanny physical resistance. Equipment failure, sudden gusts, ground tremors, even lightning strikes, as if the anomaly defended its hidden agenda. Precautions grew, lead shielding, analog backups, non-digital instruments, all measures against an invisible, perhaps sentient interference. The strangest breakthrough came when researchers tried to mimic the whole's unique field in a laboratory using superconductors and magnetic vacuum chambers. For a fleeting moment, space itself bent, birthing a small floating sphere of absolute darkness that hovered silently, warped light around it, then imploded and vanished, leaving scorched equipment and corrupted data. Witnesses described it as if reality had briefly forgotten its own rules. This micro-event lent terrifying weight to the theory that Mel's Hole is less a passage through space than a control point in reality's own operating system, a place where time, gravity, and entropy are not immutable laws but adjustable parameters. And so, what began as a late-night radio mystery now stands as something far stranger, a potential message, a machine, or a living singularity embedded within the Earth, refusing all explanation rewriting the laws we thought defined existence itself, and leaving us to ask not only what is it but why does it watch, wait, and perhaps even awaken.